to show you a super cheap but super effective modification that works on just about any older engine. Right here I've got a small block Mopar that I'm putting together and what I'm talking about is creating custom baffles for a stock style oil pan. I'm going to take you through the whole process step by step and show you how it's done. The thing is, if you have a stock replacement or a stock pan, it's unbaffled like this. And you just get way too much oil slosh on acceleration and braking, you can actually lose oil pressure. So the first thing you need to do is locate the pickup tube, because obviously your baffle can't interfere with the pickup or your pan won't go on. Now that's really easy to do. All I did was eyeball it with the stirring stick and um, put a couple of hash marks on my pan rail and I can transfer that to the oil pan and that gives me a pretty good working location. Now, if you're doing a really elaborate baffle, like a road racing style deal, you want a bare block so you can reach in through the cylinders and really, really get that tight. But I'm just gonna add an acceleration and braking baffle to the front and back of the sump, so that'll be adequate. What I've done here is I've made some guidelines. Now, these are not go-to lines. You don't have to go that far, but that gives you a practical maximum of how far you can go. And right here, I've got a line denoting how low the baffle has to be to clear the oil. My guidelines in place, the next step was making some cardboard templates and you really don't want to use corrugated cardboard. It's not accurate enough. I use this cardboard stock, which I usually find in gasket packaging. I found the uh, back one was a little tricky to make and have it fit nicely. The front one's super simple. And the thing is, I've got a downturned edge on both sides. That stiffens the whole thing and it helps with oil control quite a bit. And you might notice I'm inside of my guidelines, giving me plenty of clearance to get this thing over to pick up. This is about to get serious. I'm getting close. I transferred my pattern to my sheet metal and I'm just gonna cut it out with a jigsaw. It's not high tech, but it works. I cut my pieces out with the jigsaw and the edges are pretty rough, so I'm gonna dress them with my belt sander. I don't have a bending brake, but I've got a heavy duty vise and I've got some angle iron. So I clamp my work piece in here and I'm gonna make my flanges with a hammer. I've bent all my flanges. I've got one here and here for mounting and I've got one across the front for oil control. The next thing I want to do is show you how to put in some oil drain backs. Making the oil drain backs is not too tough. I've opened my vise to about three quarters of an inch. I've got some quarter inch scrap plate that I've bullnosed a little bit. Now all you have to do is line it up. I've got my marks already made, center it and bam. That's an oil drain back right there. I have these pieces set in here. I'm really happy with the fit after the final trimming and adjusting. The next thing I'm gonna do is mark where I'm gonna weld it. I'm gonna clean the coating off the pan and the weld zone and then weld these in. I'm all done. Now I've got my acceleration baffle back here. I've got my braking baffle in the front and it's way, way better than it was. I'm gonna give it the final cleanup and then I'm gonna bolt it right onto my motor.